Today I will show you how I created this fantasy magical fish photo manipulation in Photoshop. Hey there what's up everybody Indro here and today we will be going over this fantasy photo manipulation. If you are new to my channel we do all kind of photoshop stuffs like tips, tricks and photo manipulations and if you like my video do subscribe so that you do not miss out any of my future contents. So let's get started with today's artwork. We'll be using these stock images to create our today's composition. It took about 4 hours to complete this composition, so I'll fast forward things for you but I'll do an addition so that you can follow the steps that I did. So we're in Photoshop with our base image of the girl playing in the beach and I started with cropping it to the size that I want and use select and mask to separate her from the background. The select and mask was not working properly so I used paint tool and manually separated out the areas that I felt didn't work properly with the selection process. Next with the subject out I placed the main image of the lake and added a blue photo filter and some saturation to turn it into a nighttime scene. If you want to learn more about how to turn day into night, do check out my dedicated video tutorial that will be popping right in the info icon on the top right corner. Then I placed an image of a pine forest and painted with clone stamp tool to add that distant forest. Next I placed another image of the lake and I masked out the top portion with a custom smoke brush so that we have these nice rocks at the very bottom. Next it's time to place the goldfish. I placed it, I separated it out from the backdrop and then used blend if to make its fins a little bit transparent. Then it's time to add the study background. I replaced the sky with the night sky so that we have a more authentic feel. Next is the time to add the glow to the fish. I added an outer glow with linear dodge as blend mode and added a color overlay with hard light as the blend mode. I did some tweaks with the blend if to restrict the color overlay on the white regions. I won't be that much satisfied with it right now so I'll be visiting it quite often to get the perfect look that I was looking for. Then I added another glow layer and I painted with a brush manually on the layer mask with white to specifically light up the areas that I felt like. I did some highlights on the body of the fish and bright glows at the peripheral region of the fins. The glue is too bright, I'll be reducing it at the later part of the video. Then I added a curves adjustments to get some contrast. And then I again started changing the color of the glow because I was not liking it initially. Next I added some fog to our composition with a custom smoke brush that I downloaded from brusheasy.com. I added some clouds in the sky with the same smoke brush and then I added a little exposure layer to the background and color corrected the blue to brighten it up a little bit. Then I duplicated the curl with the original colors and added a warming photo filter on top of it and added an inverted layer mask so that everything gets high and I started painting with white on the layer mask to show the highlights region. Again if you want to learn in details I have a dedicated video of how to turn a day for into a night one I use the same techniques over there you can visit the link from the info card at the top right corner. With the highlight on the coral done, I am doing the same for the backdrop. I duplicated the background and added a warming photo filter and then started painting on the layer mask with white to show the parts of the area that I think should be highlighted from the glow of the fish. I am keeping in mind that the light is coming from the top right side and adjusting the highlights like that. I added a dark exposure layer to add that immediate shadows that will be casted on the curl because of the light from the top right side. Then I took an image of a small fish, cleaned it out from the background and added some glow and I will be placing it inside the lake.
then I duplicated it to represent a school of fish or a group of fish and then I played with the blending modes a bit so that it appears that it's inside the water. I added some outer glow and some color overlay to give it a feel that it's inside the water. I didn't like the pink glow on the color overlay so I changed it to orange. Then I added a warming filter to have an overall orange hue on the total composition. And with that I created a custom scatter brush with simple hard round brush. With that I'll be doing the fairy dust or the magic dust of the magical fish. I used a blank layer with some color overlay and outer glow and painted with pale yellow color to create that magic dust. Next I created a dark exposure layer and painted some shadows of the girl that will be falling on the ground. Then I'm off to create some grass on the foreground. I took an image of tall grass. I filled the person in the center with content aware fill and then added the same photo filter and hue saturation layer to turn it into a nighttime image. And then I used some custom brush that is downloaded from brusheasy.com and added the grass on the foreground of the composition. I duplicated the starting image, added an inverted layer mask and painted on the layer mask with white to add the grass. Then I added an orange hue saturation layer, clipped it to the group that contains all the grass layers, added an inverted layer mask to it and painted on the layer mask with white to show parts of the grass that will be glowing from the light that is coming from the fish. Next with that done, I'm using the same smoke brush to add some fog at the very front. I changed the color tone to blue. Next with the same custom brush with which I did the fairy lights, I did the glow worms. I took a blank layer with greenish yellow color overlay and glow and added the glow worms. Next I organized the layers with color coding and groups because it was really becoming difficult to manage. And then I made some adjustments so that the small group of fish looks that it's inside the water. I duplicated the initial image of the lake and took it on top of the fish and with some blending mode adjustments I tried to create an overlay of the water on the fish. Next I duplicated it to create another group at a different position in the lake. I created variations by moving some fish here and there. Next I added some bluish indigo color cast on the small fish so that it has a blue color cast of the water. And I painted on the fish manually to add some reflection of the light on the water surface. With that done, I'm off to add the reflection from the fireflies. I took a solid color layer and changed its blending mode to soft light, added an inverted layer mask and painted on the layer mask with white on the areas where I feel there should be reflection of the fireflies light. Next I cleaned up some clouds because it was hiding the stars and then I added an orangish yellow fog to the overall image to add a subtle ambient light from the fish that should be reflecting off of the fog. Next I tried to add some more fireflies and I cropped the height because I thought it was a bit tall and cleaned up some more clouds to show up some stars. Then I took everything and converted it into a smart object so that I can add some camera raw filter on top of it. With the camera raw filter, I brought up the whites a bit and added some details in the shadow. Since it's a smart object, I can anytime go inside it and make adjustments to the individual elements. And I reduced the size of the magic dust that is falling off of the magical fish. I did not like the glow that much. So I created a solid color fill layer with hard light as blending mode and then painted manually to get that perfect glow that I was looking for. I also reduced the overall glow because I thought it was too harsh and reduced some of the magical dust because I thought it was too much. And then I added a black to white gradient map and changed the blending mode to soft light to add some contrast on the glowing fish. 
and then I took a soft large brush and added some yellow color to add that ambient orangish yellow light on our overall image. Then I cleaned off some of the smoke from the composition because I thought it was hiding some details in our artwork. And at the very end I created some more copies of the pine forest to add some depth at the vanishing point of our composition. So I hope you liked today's composition and do let me know what you want me to make next. Please leave a comment below and I'll definitely try to do that kind of photo manipulation that you'll be suggesting me. And if you like my video or my photo manipulation, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out any of my future videos. I'll see you in the next one and till then stay creative.